Is the microphone working? Is the microphone working? Yes, it is. Is the microphone working today? A warm welcome to the show, Sunday the 7th of November 2021. Welcome, my name is James, and today's show is only about the Free Gordian Dam. What do we have? Well, let's have a quick look. Okay, so first up, and the regular feature here is about the levels, and the levels have gone up. The Free Gorges Dam over a 24-hour period is up at 174.55. That's very close to that level once again. And upstream, Kutan is at 175.23. That's gone up as well. Let's have a look at the graphs of that, and then we'll hop straight into the weather. Now, you have to be quite quick with this because you can just see that the weather front disappears from the Three Gorges and Central China and for the rest of the coming week looks pretty dry. But because of this heavy rain over the last couple of days, this is why the levels are up at the dam. But let's go into some other things that I near enough forgot about to talk about over recent days. So yesterday I did this title and I completely forgot about CCC, CCC, CPC, CCC, 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 San Miguel, the CCP, Hide Secrets on the Free Gorges Dam. Now we all sort of want to know what's underneath the dam and I came up with an idea and this is just purely an idea that it could be a black op prison. It's such a sensitive area. Underneath the dam we know there's a mine for example, but wouldn't it be the perfect place to hide the prisoners that have done something bad? It would be a great place to hide this guy when he gets caught eventually. Apart from that, we don't really know the other secrets of the dam. We can speculate, we can guess. I do get comments and I found out these are um, bot comments, uh, robot comments, because they are identical about B-I-T-C-O-I-N and why you should I-N-V-E-S-T in it. Uh, don't follow this, don't believe any of them, they're just things in my comments even if I delete them they seem to come back again but that was one and uh, what else some kind of other mining there as well these are all speculations in the world there are sensitive areas and I would say the free gorges is one of them and it's the perfect situation where in Russia for example Siberia it's such a vast place Russia can hold a humongous amount of secrets there. I 
feel like Mel Gibson in the conspiracy theory. Now, lots of people in the past have asked me about turbines and engines and things with the three gauges related to the output. And I have found little bits and pieces for you. Three gauges damn turbines. Hydroelectric power plant is equipped with 32 Francis turbines at 700 megawatts capacity each. Image by, well, we're not showing the image. And at 22,500 MW. Is that megawatts? Possibly, yeah. Installed capacity. Three Gorges is the world's largest, yada, 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 yada. And um, this picture here is possibly the closest we're ever going to see what is truly underneath the dam. And you're just going to see these really big turbines. Well, actually, they're not under. I think they're by the side more than the actual underneath it. Does the Free Gorges Dam cause pollution? Yes, massive wastewater discharge, the primary source of water pollution in the Free Gorges Reservoir along the Yangtze River adversely affects the water resources and substantial development both of the Free Gorges Reservoir area and the entire river basin. So what are the negative effects of the Free Gorges Dam? Dam construction is placed significantly significant roles in flood control, irrigation, navigation, and energy supply. However, the enormous negative effects such as landslides, ecological problems, and water quality decline could surpass the positive gains. Quite a few of my subscribers, viewers, etc. have always or have asked about sediment and how does it work. There isn't an actual very clear picture or graph or diagram of the Three Gorges, but I did find this one, which could actually say it quite clearly. And you can see that we have the muddy lake deposits. Yeah? Then you have the dead storage. Then you have the line storage and then the water above it, etc. But you can see on this diagram or this picture, whatever you like to call it, how if there is heavy rain, if the level does go up, if there are landslides, so this muddy lake deposits at the very bottom yeah, could over lift up from the dead storage and therefore seeping into the turbines. And I could imagine that the Free Gorges Dam is built in the same way, especially last year, 2020, when there were really heavy floods and the Floodgates were open for a long time, flooding lots of central China. I've been doing quite a bit of research. Again, viewers have asked about the tran power transition of the Free Gorges, especially over the last couple of weeks or so, when you've had the rolling blackouts in China, and they seem to be relying more on hydro rather than coal, even though coal is still number one. And you can have a read. This is quite confusing for me, so I'm just going to leave it on the screen for a moment or two. So I put it on pause and that maybe you could help you understand the power transmission. Lots of bits and pieces for today. Displacement and resettlement for Three Gorges Dam projects. The Free Gorges Dam project caused displacement and resettled 1.3 billion million people, 1993 to 2009, which is considered the biggest resettlement in the world. The total submerged land mass is 632 square kilometers, included 13 cities, 140 towns, and 1,350 villages. The management would say everything is fine with that, okay? But do you think everyone was totally happy? A farmer, a family, a farmer of a family, family's farmer, lived there for hundreds of years and suddenly moved into a block of flats. I don't think very happy. Progress is very different in China. First, the party comes to make them money, their power, their face value, and the poor people say, well done, congratulations, you've done a sacrifice for your country. Really?
And that really is about it for me today. It is just bits and pieces and I'm, I'm just sort of like catching up. But the levels have gone high again, but I could guess in a couple of weeks time they'll be slowly going down. I don't think they're going to open the sluice gates anymore. I did say earlier that they would, but they seem to not to. But we don't know because the webcams, of course, are switched off again. Actually, to be honest with you, I haven't checked, but it's always fascinating, this subject, and the getting the news and finding out information. It's like Area 51 in the United States. Possibly never you will find out unless you're invited and then sign the Secrets Act. So there you can't say it, and if you do, you'll be put in the neck. And I will see you, I think, tomorrow. I'm only doing the free gorgeous today, but I will leave you with a little bit of singing when I was preparing earlier for this show. Ciao for now. Bye-bye. Is the microphone working? Is the microphone working? Yes, it is. Is the microphone working today?